Hey there guys, William Shot here. Uh, today I got a video for you uh, of the top five bugs uh, of the week, of the month. I'm not exactly sure. We'll, we'll see how, how this video goes over with everyone. Uh, people find it of value of hopefully trying to inspire change in the game, uh, trying to fix bugs. Uh, these aren't to try and point out hey, they're fail the Cryptic's failings or PWE's failings but to hopefully try and fix them, to try and make the game more enjoyable, more desirable for all of us. Uh, and in the process, um, it'll help out a uh, perfect world. Honestly, I mean, this game should be about uh, having fun. And if people aren't having fun, uh, they're not going to want to play it, and they're definitely not going to want to spend money on it. So... If we get cryptic to to get this stuff worked out, uh, again, that'll help them. Uh, people will enjoy spending money again. But as of right now, a lot of people don't. So, basically, I'm going to walk you through uh, five of the most uh, crippling bugs or most annoying bugs uh, in the game right now. Uh, I based a lot of this off of what I had seen on... The gameplay bug reports on uh, the Stowe forums and uh, what other people gave as feedback through some of my posts that I put up like hey what do you guys find is the most annoying posts uh, I took some of those uh, one of the ones I didn't put in the list but I think is at least noteworthy and worth mentioning to perfect world is the fact that uh, Mac users are still not able to play the game right now uh, that's not, like I said, it isn't one that made the list. Um, I was kind of more focusing on what uh, bugs are actually occurring in-game. That's more of a platform issue. And I remember months and months ago, uh, they had some posting that said, Oh, Mac users can now play Star Trek Online. Well, apparently, according to them, and I have no idea, according to them, that is broken. So they're, they're concerned about that uh, with, with, every, with all the other fires that are going on in the game. I'm sure that might be, or that might be one of those things that's not high on their priority list right now. Uh, but it was noteworthy, and I thought that I should mention it at least. But without further ado, let's go to the top five bugs of the week. Enjoy. Number five. What are the bugs we have going on? Uh, in the game right now that will not stop and continues to persist is the mission completion bug and R&D bug. And you see it's finishing here. Finishing. I have to wait for the next one. This is uh, a bug that has been going on for a little over a month now. And it, it, If it's all done in, let's say these completed two hours ago, all four, all five of them, why do I have to wait for these to finish? This bug has persisted throughout the game for quite a while now. Uh, let's hope they get that one fixed. Number four. I don't think there's a teleporter down here. On, well, the Where, are at? Where are you at? Um, are you on Earth Space Dock or Academy Grounds? Academy Grounds. I can't yeah, teleport up. Yeah, there's not a transporter down there. <laughs> God. I'm transwarping you... to the Fleet Star Base, but I've got a loading screen, so... They are usually a menu on the right side. Yeah, that's not there. You gotta rearrange HUD. I think that's part of the low priority interaction thing, correct? Oh, that's where it should show up. Well, like I said, it's a feature. You shouldn't leave Academy Ground. You are not qualified yet. Oh, okay. So this is how I have to leave. I had to get an invite to Starbase to return to Sector Space. The transwarp gate behind us go to a Sector Block. Because if you just leave the system, then you'll 
headed right back to Academy Grounds. Uh, let me try it actually. Let's see if it actually sends me back to the Academy Grounds. It, it does. <laughs> Can you invite me back? I just wanted to see if it did. <laughs> Why? Why are these bugs coming up? Really? space. Number three. Notice this council has a plus 1.8 power to all subsystems. If we were to go ahead and switch to the numbered view, <clears throat> we can see down here we have 77, 73, 54, and 112. If I take that off, it goes down to 75, 71, 52, and 110. Essentially, it almost gives two power to all subsystems. In, con in contrasting the new neural gel pack, which we'll look at, and looking at <clears throat> the neural gel pack, <clears throat> we have a plus two power to all subsystems. Comparing this to the zero point energy turn, gave a one a plus one point eight to all power subsystems. So if we look down here in the corner, we have one twenty three, seventy three, forty two, and sixty four. So with this console going on, we should go up to one twenty five which is one of the main reasons I bought it because it's perfect to get me right to that level without wasting any energy to 125. In addition, it should get me to 75, 44, and 66. So let's see what happens when we put it on. It doesn't do it. It only adds one point. It should have gone to 75 there, should have gone to 45, should have gone to 66. Actually, I apologize. This one gives a proper two points. This one only gave one point and one point. And in fact, for power, it gave n zero points. In fact, let's try and do this. Let's see if it adds any power to weapons at all. So we're at 52, that should go to 54, right? Goes to 53. So there's obviously something wrong here. This is scaled, a scaled power increase <clears throat> based on what your current power settings are. Now, as far as I'm concerned, if it says plus two power to all subsystems, it should give plus two power to all subsystems regardless of where I have my power settings. Being that uh, I want to deal damage with my beam weapons with this ship, I want my power to be maxed out. So if I have this 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 neural gel pack that says plus two to all power subsystems, it should give me plus two to all power subsystems, regardless of where I have my power settings. These are tools that we want to use to to get very granular and very specific with our builds. And if they're not going to do that, then we're wasting our marks, our dilithium, we're wasting everything on this crap. This is this needs to be looked at. This needs to be fixed. Uh, and this is and I know this is probably just one of many councils out there that has a bug in it. So it's up to you. 
up to you, Cryptic. I, I, I hope that you get this stuff worked out. I don't hold out much hope for it. But this needs to be adjusted. So another widely reported bug has been uh, the Council Science Particle Generator uh, in which, and I'm, I'm looking at the wrong one actually, uh, Science Council uh, Graviton Generator, uh, when you upgrade it, it loses its Starship Graviton Generator ability. Uh, so it loses the knock, repel, and slow. Now, <laughs> I didn't even exactly want to get this console. Uh, only only saving grace I did have for it was I do use Photonic Shockwave. So that was one of the reasons I guess I did it. So let's go ahead and upgrade it. Let's see what happens. So as we can see here really quick, we have plus 31.9 Starship Graviton Generator. If we put it in the upgrade window... It does. It loses the Graviton Generator. And it's, it's gone on this end too. And now this is broken. Let's actually see if it affects... My science... Let's see. Graviton Generator... My Graviton Generators are at 122. So that should go up to... Well, at least before it should have gone up to like 160 something almost. So if I, I toss that on there, nothing. Uh, I have this one's so exotic damage. My exotic damage is at, where is it? I can't see it. There it is. Exotic's at 162. That goes up to 193. So this one's still working. I'm half tempted. Let's have what happens if I upgrade my exotic upgrade item. So exotic still sticks around. This is an immediate bug fix. This needs to be fixed right away. This should be a hot fix. This should be fixed without having to take the server down, without having to wait till Thursday's patch. This should be fixed immediately. Uh, this is this is such an egr egregious bug that's running around right now. Uh, this needs to be fixed immediately. So, I spent some of my dilithium, and I wasn't even planning on getting this generator, or this console, but Cryptic, get on it. Get this fixed. A lot of people are a little upset about this one. Number two. Okay, so our next bug is our power tray loadouts. Uh, you know, when you... Switch maps, you lose everything, you lose all your abilities, your bridge officer abilities on your bar. Uh, or even when you switch uh, your starship, uh, you end up losing some of your power tray abilities. So, I don't actually know what's going to happen here, but let's switch to a ship that I haven't been on, but I know should be set up properly. Uh, my obelisk carrier, let's go to that one and see what happens. And it was set up properly as far as my gear. But all of my trays are missing now. Let's see my stations. Stations are all set up. All my officers are in there. And sometimes that, that even breaks. So this is a continuing problem. This has gotten to the point of absurdity. This is This bug has been going on for months, possibly even years. I, I, I have no idea. I've never seen such an issue with your power trays or action bars or whatever you want to call them uh, as, as badly as I've seen with this game. Uh, let's see, I should have a loadout. This should set everything up and put everything back where it was. So if I click on that... Nope, doesn't put anything back. Usually I have my, my beam fire at wills down here. I have two of them, and they should both be down there. Uh, some of the stuff is normally in the right location where it should be. But overall, 
this is a unmitigated disaster uh, still with these power bars. Uh, and that's why this one's ranked so high, because this has been a plague of this game. This needs to be adjusted. This needs to be fixed. And I'm sure many folks out there are demanding that this get fixed. Uh, at this point, I'm making this... Uh, I put this in here because this one has gotten to the point of just complete absurdity. So, get on that one, Cryptic, please. Uh, many people are demanding this fix. I can't believe it's still taking this long to try and get this adjusted. Uh, if I get... let's go back to my other ship. Hopefully that didn't get broken. Yep, that one got broken too. And I was just in that one. Oh my god. Alright, let's see if the loadout works. Nope. Messed it up even more. My god. How did, how did that, how did this one get up here? How did Torpedo Spread get up here? I've never put weapon, weapon abilities up here. I, I wasn't even using this. Oh my god. Wow. This is amazing. So now it broke not only my bars, but it broke my officer's abilities. So I got my bars put back in the right location where I normally keep everything. I think I might be missing something here, but I, you know, that's the thing. I can't remember what it was. So what you want to... Basically, there there is a fix. Unfortunately, it's not... A real fix it's a gimped fix and it's an unacceptable fix but I at least want to let everyone know that there is something out there that can at least alleviate uh, a short for like a short-term issue especially when people a lot of people have the issue where they'll set their they'll set their trays they'll warp into a, a PVE which is the next another issue but uh, they'll warp into a PVE or something or another map and all their bars will be messed up. Uh, one thing that you can do to mitigate uh, this issue from continuing over and over again. Get everything exactly where you want it. Get everything set the way you want it. So that means your items, your action bars, your officers save your loadout create a loadout so what equipment tray configuration duty officers save to main and then what you literally have to do and i'm not sure exactly if it's on the hour or if you have to wait an hour but basically you sit in a in space uh, like esd uh, not sector space regular combat space uh, obviously, this isn't combat space, but space where it's every all your abilities are affected uh, properly. You sit in space for an hour. So basically, when you're done with done for the day, just let your game sit there and run, and hopefully everything saves over. Uh, if anyone's you uh, are familiar with how um, networking works as far as uh, replicating data, uh, you know you all you're all aware that sometimes it takes. A half an hour to replicate the data to all the servers. I don't know if that's exactly what's going on, but that's the way I think about it. So you let it sit for an hour. Hopefully it'll be fixed for you. Um, again, this is not an acceptable solution. Uh, this I just know this seems to work for me and avoid switching ships. Try and find that one ship that you absolutely love and then that, stick with that ship for a month or two at a time. And then when you're ready to switch to another one, stick with that other one for a month or two at a time. Which, I, like, like I said, is unacceptable. You should be able to switch starships as often as you want. And be able to play with your variety. And not have to deal with this continuing bug. They, they need to take care of this. They need to get on it. And they need to... Uh, it's just unacceptable. No. So our last... And final bug of the week that I think it deserves the number one spot because it is the most uh, widespread and all-consuming bug of the game and that is the PVEQs 
are broken. The issue being here is that nobody's queue nobody's queuing up for anything. If we look at what our queues look like and what our what our look what it looks like for what who's playing, uh, we see that people are playing the Mirror Invasion event. That much is obvious. There's a fifty thousand fifty thousand dilithium reward at the end. It's no wonder people are playing that. That's the only way to get dilithium right now. And uh, widely more more people are playing the normal version than the advanced version. Now I know a lot of people will say, "Oh, well, it's because we haven't really progressed in our gear. We haven't progressed in uh, you know getting up to Mark 14 gear all over all of our characters, and some people haven't made it to 60 yet." Uh, yeah, I get it. I've run this stuff with fleet members of mine who are all level 60 and who have begun uh, upgrading their gear, uh, even to the point where they've upgraded uh, half of their gear to Mark 14. So half of their, so, or actually either most of their gear is Mark 13 or half of their gear is Mark 14. And we're having issues with the advanced content. And some of these players are some of the best people I played with uh, in the game. We used to, you know, do content and, and totally destroy it. And I don't mind challenging, but the problem is, is that the rules have been augmented. You never know what's going to happen. You, you, you. There's no continuity. There's no expectation of what will happen in these queues. If we continue to look at, if we look at all the other queues, even even the normal ones, zero and zero, one and zero, 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 zero. I mean, nobody wants to run any of this stuff. There's one person queued up for an advanced Borg disconnected. There's five people playing. That's That seems odd. I mean, this is new content. There's nobody in here. Board disconnected to leap. Forget it. Nobody wants to be in there. Uh, bug hunt. Advanced. Bug hunt elite. Uh, these are actually playable, believe it or not. Uh, and then the only other one that people are running is crystal. Because this is actually playable. In addition to that, if you miss the optional, you can continue and finish out the match. You can finish out the PvE queue. Uh, for instance, in Borg Disconnected Advanced, if you fail, if you don't hit that 15 Borg ships saved, you're warped out. And you get your 10 marks for your effort. And then you get a 30 minute cooldown. Seriously? I mean, this is... The, the rules are changing and there was no explanation of it. Uh, granted, there wasn't a lot of people going over on Tribble. I imagine a lot more people would have if it wasn't locked out to just lifetimers. But even when I went over there, I went over there and I was trying to test as much as I could and give as much feedback as I could. I wasn't able to do any of the queues. Uh, I wish I had. I wish there had been more people over there queuing up. Had I seen what was going on, I would have been screaming long ago. Hey, you can't do this. You're changing the rule book. You're throwing the rule book out. And not only that, you're throwing the rule book out, but you're adding in arbitrary rules that just are annoying you know continuing on down the list uh, rhino station this must be a slightly doable map I don't know I haven't done it I haven't I've had no desire to do a lot of these maps fleet alert they fixed that that was one of the few so now that's now that's doable um, I'm actually shocked to see anybody doing Hive Onslaught, but although it's normal, surprised anybody's doing Advanced. Why are they going to be upset if they miss something? Uh, you know, continuing down the list, Conduit. Everyone should know Conduit. That's the only reason we're seeing a few people in there. Uh, again, normal is about the only thing people are queuing up. Zero, 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 zero. Then we get down to Kittimer and Stasis. Kittimer Vortex, they're doing it in advance. There's a few people or a few groups running the normal. And there's a couple groups running the advanced. But yet again, zeros. Zero goose eggs everywhere. You know, a few people that are bold enough to to jump in and do this stuff. 
and, and just continuing it down. More z just nothing but zeros. Nobody wants to do this. You know, I'm going to link down below in the news section or the comment section uh, a video by a group called Extra Credits. Uh, they have a great video explaining uh, what's going on in our game right now. And it totally fits the bill. The difference between challenging and punishing games. This has become a punishing game. This is why nobody wants to play it anymore. They need, <laughs> they need to fix this. They said they're looking at this, but I don't see any real progression. The only thing I've seen them fix was the, was the fleet alert. That's the only thing I've seen them fix. It's not fun anymore. You've broken the content. You've fractured the game completely. This is why this is the number one bug right now. It's, it's all encompassing of the game. This needs to be fixed. I, and I don't do these videos. I'm not doing this to, to piss anyone off. I'm doing this because I care about the game and I like to play the game and I don't want to see it die. I don't. As, as much as people are going to want to, you know, scream at you, you don't know what you're talking about. My fleet's doing this. My fleet's running everything. <laughs> Fine. Your fleet's running everything. My fleet isn't. My fleet doesn't want to... All they're doing right now is mere invasion. That's it. That's all people are doing. They're not running anything else. And trust me, we have... Th in my fleet, we have three different fleets. We have a Klingon one, and we have two Federation fleets. One of our fleets is at capacity. The other one has about another 100 people. There's nobody on. Our fleet used to have, at average, at least 75 to 80 people on at a time. Now it's down to around 10, 15, 20. There's our fleet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 people on right now. <laughs> 12 people in my fleet are on out of 500. Your game's fractured. Fix it. Fix it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. I hope this video leads to change in this game. If you like my channel, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Give it a like. Give the video a like and tell other people about it. We need help. This game needs help. I love this game, but I don't want to see it fail. And I know that's counterintuitive. And for your sake, Cryptic, you need to fix it too. Because this is hurting your income, I guarantee. I, I know you're, you're suffering right now. You have to be. Unless the, the, the few players that are out there that are really spending. I don't know. But this needs to get fixed. Again, thanks for watching. And we'll see you back here next time.